Hello everyone, it's Yackleberry. And uh, last night was a pretty interesting night. Uh, the other day I actually did a, uh, a video to where I was trying to uh, overcome some so severe weather, which turned out to be uh, underwhelming as, uh, as in the fact that I thought it was going to be a little bit stronger than what it was and turned out not to be so. So, uh, the other night, or last night should I say, uh, instead of the severe weather, it ended up dropping down to about 29. And uh, I ended up trying to test, wanted to test my my gear, so I uh, I ended up bringing out the old uh, hammock setup again, and um, I wanted to show you guys kind of how it went, uh, or or at least what I used to stay warm, or as warm as I possibly could. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it, and then we're going to uh, uh, peel it back, kind of layer by layer, so I can kind of show you what I used, and. Um, and then my, my thoughts about how, how last night went, what I learned from it, and uh, probably what I do a little bit different next time. So I'm going to go ahead and start peeling this down layer by layer and um, show you guys what's going on. So what you're looking at here first off is uh, obviously identical to my last video when I did the uh, severe weather. Uh, I was using, of course, uh, the light speed straps that I have. Uh, make it nice and easy to adjust. Those have been working out uh, wonderful. Uh, I really appreciate them, really like those. And uh, of course, you did. Oh, look at that! Look at the toggle system fail. Oh, I didn't see that. I did not see that. What? Oh, wow. That's not good. That is a uh, carbon uh, carbon fiber arrow that I made that out of. I did not think that that would have failed like that. Let's check the other one out. Man, how about this? This one hold. Well, this one held all right, as far as that goes. Huh, interesting. Wow, okay. Um, I guess I'll have to try something different. I, I really didn't think that that was going to crush that. But eventually, once my hammock comes out of uh, warranty, I'll end up, I guess, just replacing the ropes. But the only thing about the ropes is it could really help to elongate uh, how far this thing can uh, hang when you use a toggle system. In which I haven't had very much luck with. But anyway, so we're going to go back to the monsoon uh, whole rain fighting set up here, which we've got, and uh, and uh, has the blast doors on the side. Uh, very typical, or not typical, but very uh, uh, very much the same as, as what I used last time. Now, the only difference is, is that I actually tied off the uh, monsoon rain fly to the tree this time because when it was uh, when it was tied off to the Hennessy hammock. Uh, lines, of course. I don't know really what the dynamics do when when you actually end up laying in your hammock. But what I can tell you is, is that it does stuff weird to these rain flies, and it ends up causing it to go uh, pretty slack on me. So I ended up tying it straight off to these two uh, two sides of the trees, and um, I'm about tripped over my own line. And that seemed to keep it a little bit more taut, uh, even when I was laying in it. Now you'll notice this guy's pretty close to the ground. Um, uh, Pete from River Kings told me to get it as close as I could to the ground, um, and so I did. That's about last night actually ended up touching the ground uh, so it was about uh, 30 some degrees and I had to get out and, and make a small adjustment things of that nature but so anyways uh, it's about as close as I can to get it to the ground I just try to keep some of that wind off of me and it does a great job it does a great job catching uh, catching that wind because last night it got down uh, to probably in the 30s right next to the 20s and uh, the wind was about 18 to 25 miles an hour or 25 mile an hour gust so they did a great job keeping the wind off me but I'm going to go ahead and peel back this monsoon rain fly and show you what I got going on underneath that. Alright, so here's what we're looking at. I got the uh, monsoon rain fly taken off here. And what you're seeing here on the bottom, this is the um, super shelter that Hennessy uh, sends with their, uh, well they don't send it with, but you buy it separately. And it has this, um, it's like a sil nylon, it's, it's like a rain fly type material. But it wraps up under here uh, quite nicely. Uh, on both sides so it, it, it basically hugs up under it now they sent that or what they sent with that was like a foam piece and i think that i don't really know what they were trying to accomplish with that but i think that foam piece was a wor was is worthless um i really do i mean it's possible i use it wrong but gosh all you do is put it in there 
and tie it in there, but it doesn't seem to do any any good. At least the foam part doesn't. I guess it holds some heat. But anyways, what what's good about this is that it actually uh, ends up uh, seemingly, uh, I, I believe, keeping uh, wind from just obviously just stripping uh, your warmth out from underneath you, uh, at least to a point. And uh, so what I got going on under here too is what you're seeing on this is the uh, you can kind of see the name of it there. I hope is a snug pack. So that's the snug pack underquilt. Now, I put the underquilt, obviously, around the Hennessy hammock, and then I have the super shelter wrapped around that as well. And what's good about that is that no wind can get here on the edge and try to dip down through there and try to rob me of any heat uh, that I've got built up uh, inside this snug pack. So that's pretty neat because on the Hennessy hammock, you got your little tie-out point here, and uh, it goes right through a nice little loop that's on the snug pack. Uh, almost like they put that loop there for the Hennessy. And then, of course, it'll run even through uh, the Rainfly. Or not the Rainfly, Super Shelter. I'm getting my words mixed up. And then, of course, you can tie it out. And uh, so what it does is it holds that uh, Super Shelter up on there and it holds your Snug Pack around you. And I have the Snug Pack lines running through the Super, super Shelter on up. And then they hook to the little uh, clip here that uh, Hennessy has. Uh, on their lines here that usually would hold your tarps and rain flies but again it does through whatever dynamics go on there uh, when you end up sitting in your hammock uh, it, it tends to loosen it a little bit so anyways super shelter goes on there i think it's kind of i mean i have it i wasn't super impressed with the foam part of it and overall i wouldn't use it for anything uh, more than like a summer night or something uh, or maybe uh, dips in the 60s or something but what you see here now in this camel pattern is a uh, woobie so if you don't know what a wooby is, because I really didn't know what a wooby is, I guess they use that in the military. Um, I think the outer lining is like a, a nylon, I could have this wrong, and then the inner uh, filling, which is just a very thin material, it's very thin, is a, I think it's a polyester, I believe. But anyways, you see that I have that hanging inside my Hennessy uh, on both sides. Well, I'm trying to work, work this camera at the same time, but it's uh, actually on both sides, so it drapes down here and then it comes across here and what I do is I, I climb in there uh, and I end up pushing it all the way to the end I don't know if you can see through the screen but it's coming all the way to the end of the Hennessy uh, of, over the over the structural ridge line and all the way to the end here and uh, that really helped out a lot last night I remember having to get out of the hammock for a little bit uh, to do some adjustments and and uh, as soon as I moved as soon as I end up moving the the uh, will be out of the way I can feel the air coming in uh, through the screen of course so that made a big difference laying on both sides of things that made a big difference um, on keeping a lot of that cold air uh, out from me breathing it so um, anyways that's that's about how that works out I mean I can't really strip it down much more than that but just to show you the super shelter uh, the 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 under quilt now the advantage of having this super shelter is I can actually stick uh, another underquilt under there or even just a blanket or I know they have like those uh, 20 25 dollar 30 dollar uh, down uh, I think it's like an Eddie Bauer or something I know that they have those for sale like I don't know if it's a Costco or something like that and you could even get one of those and have it tucked right down in between your super shelter uh, and your underquilt but if you didn't have the super shelter you could do the same thing you just pull your underquilt out of course and, and stick another that little uh, down thing underneath there if you want to but so so overall my thoughts about this well last night I was probably out here it's probably at least in the lower 30s if not uh, dipping into the 20s but I think it's probably the lower 30s uh, but anyways I think I stayed uh, comfortably warm meaning very easy to survive through a cold night that way uh, I did feel a little bit of coolness on the rear of course but um, at one point in time, I realized I was actually sitting on the ground. And so I think it was compressing, and of course, I was just getting my heat rubbed. But once I made some adjustments, and then of course, I uh, made the adjustment and got a couple more inches off the ground, but I was still pretty close to it. And then uh, I noticed that that kind of helped a little bit. But even with that, I noticed it was still a little, little chill just under my buttocks. So what I did was I took the uh, top quilt and just kind of tucked it under underneath the old buttocks, and that that helped quite a bit so I would say very comfortable as far as um, you know being in, in the 30s 
even though I'm sure the Snug Pack top quilt, which I have, and the Snug Pack under quilt, is only rated for 40s at best, 40 at best. But I think with the combination of the under quilt and the super shelter, uh, helping to keep any wind from coming through there, plus the combination of the monsoon uh, rain flying, which was blocking the wind uh, mostly. I don't remember getting very much wind through there at all. Maybe a little bit from time to time when it blew, blew really hard, but even that didn't cause any issues and stuff. But so with having the monsoon deflecting the wind, the blast doors keeping it from coming uh, in the sides and stripping out um, the underquilt heat, which again was blocked with the super shelter. Um, it really kind of made for a decent setup. I mean, I, you know, it's, I think a person could easily make that through the night. But, um, and, and, and of course the woodby being on top uh, and, and allowing me, when I breathe stuff in there, to start collecting and holding a lot of that heat uh, inside my hammock made a huge difference. I remember just laying there and my fingers were perfectly warm, uh, just like if I was in my house and stuff. Again, the only thing that really got cool was my buttocks and stuff. So um, I just wanted to kind of show you guys that setup there. Uh, Hennessy hammock, I think it's Expedition, ASIM zip I have, snug pack top quilt, snug pack under quilt, Hennessy super shelter, uh, light speed straps. Um, obviously my toggle didn't work. I'm at the, I got to figure something out there. Uh, so if you got some ideas, drop those ideas. But anyways, that got me into the 30s uh, pretty easily. And, um, and of course I tried it just out in, 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 in the, my front yard and stuff. But uh, uh, like Steve said from Adventure Outdoors, he said, uh, you know, that, you know, trying those things out in your front yard is, is uh, kind of smart uh, before you end up taking your gear out into the field and not knowing if it works or not. I know that I could probably go out in the 30s and make it. I'm not going to freeze to death. Uh, obviously in this setup, but I wouldn't go you know much lower than that with with some adjustments uh, For instance, you know the snug pack is is uh, it's only gonna hold you so far if I didn't have the super shelter Of course it wouldn't do uh, even as good as it did But um, obviously I'd move up to maybe a down under quilt obviously that, that's that's what I would shoot for I think that's that would be smart, but that's something that's gonna have to crew over time But uh, yeah, it's very smart I think to try it out in the front yard like I did uh, so I know what I'm taking out the field and 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 how I'm gonna use that and and, and if it's going to work or not, but uh, it's, it's, it's a good thing I tested this out because I know that it couldn't go much lower than that. But um, I'm kind of happy the way it kind of that it turned out. Um, the only thing I do differently is obviously get a different uh, under quilt, but the rest of it, and of course the top quilt would be nice, you know, a nice down top quilt or something like that. But uh, for these synthetics, and, and I got to say for the snug pack top quilt and an under quilt, for for the fifty dollars that they are, you're not losing uh, no matter what. I mean, I know there's season you can't use it in, like that cold of weather. Uh, on its own, you can't use it in without the help of a wooby and, and and with like a super shelter to block some of the wind from from being you know, stealing out your heat and stuff. But for the amount that you spend on that, I mean, for like a summer setup or maybe a little bit cooler nights, you, you can't lose for the money that you put into that. Uh, especially since it's a very easy setup. Um, and I like the fact that the snug packs fit fit these Hennessy's and you can put the uh, stakeout line through it and, and hold the uh, hold the uh, underquilt up around you and stuff. So, but anyways, I'm just rambling. Um, it was good to be able to test that out. Um, so I got the severe weather test kind of out of the way. I got to, uh, some colder weather uh, tests out of the way. So um, I think that's about it overall. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate all the comments stuff that you guys give me. And um, we'll probably see you on the next video sometime soon, I'm sure. Take it easy.